Hi, fourth grade friends. We're gonna do some more math problems today. Before we jump into it, I want to remind you about our norms for our classroom time right now. So we're gonna be having a positive attitude. We're gonna keep working on being respectful with our family members and with our classmates. We're gonna keep trying even when things get hard. We're gonna remember the word yet. And remember that if we're struggling with an, a new idea that when we get stuck, we're gonna not just tell ourselves, I don't understand this, but we're gonna say, I don't understand this yet. There's time and an opportunity for us to keep trying and learn something new. So this video is going to be about the problem, problem number four on page 106. And problem number four says to complete each multiplication puzzle and to fill in the products of rows and diagonals. And I'm not gonna lie to you, fourth grade friends, when I first looked at this, I was a little confused. So I wanted to make sure that we took a look at the example together. And from there, you'll be able to hopefully solve um, A and B of question number four. Now, if you look at the example problem, and you look at what I've got with me right here, they're gonna look a little different. The example problem has all of these numbers filled in. And what I've done is I've taken out a few of those numbers so we can work together and you can see how this, um, how these problems, um, these puzzles, there's the word I was looking for, work. Um, so the way that this is set up is we've got this three by three square here. And you'll notice it's got a blank here and a blank here and here. Um, and then we've also got a four by one rectangle right here. And the way these puzzles work is that if you take this number and this number and this number and you multiply them all together, it will equal this number in this four by one rectangle over here. Also, if we multiply diagonally, it'll be either this square, if we're multiplying this way, that will be the product of all of these numbers multiplied together. Or for this square right here, that's the product of these three numbers multiplied together. And then right here and here and here is when we multiply across like that. Um, so what I want to start with is I want to look at this row right here, the one in the middle where we've got three, five, and three. And we can start by doing some multiplication to figure out what number is gonna be in this blank right here. So I'm gonna write those numbers down and then we're gonna take a closer look at this, multiplying those all together. So I know that row is three by five, or three times five, times three. And I'm gonna start with just three times five. And I'm gonna multiply those two numbers together. I'll give you a second to think about that. All right, we know that three times five is going to be 15. So now that I've multiplied these two numbers together, I can go ahead and now bring in this times three and multiply the product of three times five, that we already did there, down over to here. So our Next equation is 15 times 3. I'll give you a few seconds to think about that. I know if I was solving this problem, I would think about what 15 times 2 is. And then from there, I would add 15 to that number. And if you did your math correctly, 15 times 3 is going to be 45. So I'm going to write that in right here. So now I've got all of my products filled in and that's going to be a really good place for me to start working now. And the rest of this is going to be a little bit of a puzzle. We're doing multiplication but it's also a bit of problem solving and puzzle solving. So I want to look at this number right here, this product, 35. So I know that this product I need to go diagonally and I'll multiply 7 times 5 times whatever this number is going to be to get 35. And as I'm thinking about that, I'm realizing something. I'm going to give you a second to maybe see if you can see what I'm realizing as well. 
And right now, some of you are noticing that 7 times 5 is already 35. So what that means is we've got to think about what number we can multiply this by to get 35. And that number is going to be 1. We know that 7 times 5 is already 35, which is the product that we were looking for. So we can multiply it by 1 and keep that answer, that product of 35. Now, this is nice because I've got this number and this number filled in, and that's going to help me fill, figure out what number we need right here to find the product 48. So I can look at these two numbers. I already know, well, since we're multiplying 6 by 1, that's going to be the product of these two numbers is going to be 6. So really, the only number that I need to worry about now is this number right here. I'm going to think, OK, what number times 6 is going to give me 48? I'll give you all a minute to think about that. If you need some more time to think about this, too, you can always pause. I'm going to say the answer in 3, 2, 1. All right. So I figured out that 8 times 6 is going to get me my product of 48. So 8 times 6, yep, that's 48, times 1, still 48. Perfect. Now we got one more number to figure out. And we can go about this in a couple different ways. I've got two numbers. Well, I've got these two numbers, this 8 and this 5, and then this blank right here. So I can think about, well, what is 8 times 5 going to be? And then what do I need to multiply 8 times 5 by to get 80? Or I can think about what 7 times 4 is, and then from there think about what number do I need to put here to have a product of 56. I want to go diagonally, but you can totally go horizontally if you want. And that's the really neat thing about these puzzles, is you can really start in most places and be able to figure out an answer. There's not one specific route or way that you have to go about doing this. You can start in a couple different places. Um, but I want to go diagonally, so I'm going to think to myself, okay, I know that this number is 8. I solved that earlier. I'm going to multiply that by 5. Think to myself, okay, 8 times 5. Well, I know that 8 times 5. Ooh, marker's dying. 8 times 5 is 40. And then when I compare that to the product that I've got down here, I know, okay. 8 times 5 is 40, something multiplied by 40 is going to be 80. Ooh, and I think 80 and 40, oh yeah, I'm seeing something. 80 and 40 are related because 40 is half of 80. So if 40 is half of 80, then I need to multiply 40 by 2 to get my answer, 80. All right, fourth grade friends, I hope that was helpful in explaining these multiplication puzzles. These are really fun. Um, they're a really good way to get you thinking about multi-step multiplication. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to give me an email. I'd love to help you and your family out. Hope everybody's staying safe right now.